In this series, I'm on a quest to find the best free DAW software for music production. In this episode, I'm gonna take a look at Reaper. Is it the best free DAW? Let's find out. When I asked the question in my community tab, which free DAW do you know? Someone said the endless, quote unquote, trial of Reaper. Well, on their website they say it's a 60 day trial. But since the software relies on the system clock to determine the date, yes, you can easily fake it. And indeed, it seems to work past the 60 day period. So, it's also usable in 2037 with a 6403 days trial. Okay, technically it's not free, but when you click the next screen away, you can use it without limitations. But of course they want you to buy the $60 version or rather the $225 one depending on your income. Let's look at the looks. The tracks are in the middle. The mixer is on the bottom of the screen and the transport controls are in the middle just above the mixer. The plugins are added in separate windows and the sample browser called the Media Explorer is a bit hidden but it's there. There is a piano roll in Reaper, but it's in a separate screen with a weird scroll mechanic. Up and down scrolling zooms in and out and scrolling over the on-screen music keyboard actually scrolls the screen. In Reaper there is no distinction between track types. So a MIDI track, an audio track, a video track and a bus track, those are all the same thing. I have to say I'm surprised by the amount of features and flexibility that Reaper offers. Although they have gone a tad overboard with all the iconless menus and options. This is pretty intimidating for a new user, but a lot of options are pretty self-explanatory when you know the basics of a door. Nevertheless, I could pretty much click around in the door and get stuff done without watching 10 tutorials. My MIDI keyboard is supported and freezing tracks works smoothly. The sound clip operations are really easy. Extending a clip beyond its limits makes a loop that you can cut and manipulate one part that doesn't affect the other parts. Something that makes the whole looping feature in Logic pretty much useless because you can't do that and you can better use copy paste instead, otherwise you are stuck with your loop indefinitely. Dragging a top corner of a clip fades in or out, a huge time saver to get rid of clicks. Some software like Logic uses a ton of cursor tools. The select tool, the cut tool, the trim tool, the fade tool, the are you still not done tool, the hurry up tool and now it gets annoying tool. No, not here in Reaper. Automation works okay, but it's not my favorite. You have to select the automation lanes, but with some plugins like FabFilter, there is so much you can automate, it fills the entire screen. Exporting can be done in a ton of formats, WAV, AIFF, MP3 and OCFORBIS. Sidechaining is possible, but it's a bit complicated. You have to send it via number channels instead of selecting a named channel that you want the input from. I'm also surprised by the amount of plugin standards they support. Even ARA is supported, that allows real-time audio file manipulation for, for example, pitch correcting software like Melodyne. The categorization of plugins is a blessing if you have a ton of plugins. You can search for plugins and even search in categories for plugins. And you can easily stack instrument plugins on top of each other without using an instrument rack or whatever. There is one super feature that I've never seen before, remote. I'm surprised that not more DAW software makers did implement this feature. With remote you can use the processor of another computer in your network for CPU intensive tasks. There are some caveats however, you need to have plugins on both systems installed. And it needs to be the same version of the plugin, so version 1.5 with version 1.5 and the same standard, so a VST with a VST and an audio unit with an audio unit. You also need a high speed network connection, Wi-Fi has too much latency. In theory this works, connecting works smoothly but I ran into some trouble here and there. For example, changing to non-existing presets on the other machine in Serum caused some problems disconnecting while the application said that it was still connected. But I could see by the amount of CPU usage that my local processor was used. 
I like the idea, but it needs a little bit more work. Although I'm pretty positive, I do have a few minor complaints. The left and right scrolling is inverted. That is somewhat annoying because every other application on the Mac it works the other way around. The font size is really small and I couldn't find out how to enlarge it. After a day of producing or late in the evening this is gonna be an issue for me. Also I don't like the multiple window approach. I would have liked to see a one screen layout. But other than that Reaper is a solid door that is feature rich and definitely competes with the big professional doors. Even for 60 bucks you can't complain. And I can see why people are so enthusiastic about the software.